Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and this is the third part to my series Self-Expression Secrets to Attracting Women. Now, there's four elements that I want to talk to you about when it comes to developing the masculine within yourself. And the first element is depth of consciousness. How do you rest in the place within yourself that's always been there? How do you live from the deepest space that's inside of yourself? How do you spring from the place inside of yourself that's non-changing? This is what women is drawn, this is what women are drawn to when they speak to you. It's the depth within yourself that is not changing. Because the feminine is always changing. She's drawn to what's not changing. And depth of consciousness is achieved through relaxation into your deepest place and it requires breath control it requires you breathing in a certain way that relaxes your entire body into the now so as you're sitting here and you're watching this video begin to breathe deeply focus on a place inside of yourself that's non-changing and from this place, it moves into element number two. That is the observer. The observer is a part of yourself that notices. The part of masculinity that notices. You notice everything from the way that a woman is looking at you. If she's really bullshitting you. What does her walk mean? How is she closed off in this moment? What is her internal state? With this skill to be the observer, it allows you to be able to see things that other men would never see. And coming from the observer, you can begin to know things about the woman that she doesn't even, in this moment, believe that you could even know so to speak she's, she's like oh my god how could you ever know all this about me without even knowing anything uh, that I've told you you know that you told me <laughs> and that's coming from you being the observer and resting in that place first so when you rest in that place of non-changing deeply through relaxation and you couple that and you couple that with the observer now you can move into number three which is charging that space with a deep heart purpose what is your deepest purpose right now in your life? This is, this is what it is to be a man with the masculine sexual essence, to live this life and know what it is that you want. So in this moment, what do you want? What do you want from this video? What do you want in your life currently right now? What do you want in seduction? You need to, with that space that's inside of you, fill it with your deepest heart purpose. And I find that the best way to get to that is to go into introspection. This is how men grow. We grow in introspection. We grow through friends who can give us honest feedback. We go through uh, us being able to look at ourselves through self-talk and reading and all the things that shows us parts of ourself. And from that place, you want to start to see what is it that you have to offer women and the world. Because once you start to understand what it is that you have to offer women, you can come from that deep place within yourself each moment. So, how do you stay there with a woman and come from your deepest place? You're there with a woman and you know that you want to get to know her. So you stay in that deepest place. But also, with that deepest place, you have to understand that, yes, I can stay here, but I must be open to the spontaneous truth that comes to me moment to moment. So we have a deep purpose, but at any moment that purpose could change into something that's a lot more meaningful. And, I, and that's what you have to stay open to. Stay flexible to, yes, I'm grounded and I'm rooted in my purpose, but I have to stay flexible to something coming up that's even deeper than that. So let, let me give you an uh, example with a woman. I'm there, I'm with a woman on a date, and uh, we're walking down the street. And as we're walking, I, my truth tells me, or my intuition hits me, that 
um, I want to grab this girl's hand because I feel really connected to her. And what you do in that moment is going to be a strong indicator to the woman of what kind of man you are. But in that moment, you're also showing something that is in alignment with yourself. Because if there's one thing that a woman wants, she wants a man that's in alignment with himself outside of her. So she is added on to what it is that you have in that moment, meaning like what it is that you're really truly grounded in. So you go for her hand and you grab it and she pulls away. Now, of course, in that moment when she pulls away, you go, oh man, I did this and I don't know, you know if that was the right move to do. It was absolutely the right move for you to do. If you felt like that was what you wanted to do, truly wanted to do in your deepest place within yourself and you did it, there's nothing else you could have done that was better. Now you have to be, of course, flexible to her boundaries and that becomes your next purpose. Okay, I'm flexible to her boundaries now, but I'm still gonna stay grounded in what it is that I want uh, with this woman. And so you're walking along, you're walking along, you're walking along, and then you sit down. As you're sitting down, you begin to connect more. So you move into, I wanna know more about this woman because right now she's not comfortable enough with me, but now I wanna know more about her so she can see that it's okay for her to let go in my presence. So she starts to let go and become uncomfortable in your presence. And then as you're looking at her, your truth comes to you, your deepest purpose in that moment comes to you of, I wanna kiss this woman. And you go in and you do it. And she kisses you back. But why previously did she not kiss you though? I mean, why previously did she not hold your hand? I'm sorry. Why previously, why previously did she not hold your hand? That's because she uh, wasn't feeling it in that moment, but the fact that you didn't unwaver, you were still grounded in yourself and knowing that, yeah, I'll go for what I want and sometimes it won't be reciprocated. Just knowing that alone for a woman, it, it gives her a chance to know that I can let go with this man. And in that moment she kisses you, it was because of what you did before and your ability to shift between your purposes and being able to let her be more comfortable in your presence. So, apart from that, you have that. You have resting deep in your consciousness through relaxation of breath, relaxation within yourself. Then you move into the observer where you are noticing things about her, noticing how she's moving, noticing what's going on inside of her. Then from that place of observing, you're able to charge that space of, okay, this is my purpose in this moment and I'm staying clear in it. Now that moves us to the next thing, which is the most beautiful part about the mix is clarity in your psyche. Clarity in your psyche allows you to pull out the parts of women that, uh, that are currently operating through you. So, what I, I got this idea from a great friend of mine. And she told me that, you know, one situation I was having, that if I was clear on my psyche, I would have been able to exercise the woman's freedom of choice. And that really hit me. So, I'm gonna give you two stories of how I collapsed in my consciousness here in New York. It was two stories from here. How I collapsed in my consciousness. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I know this girl might not give me a chance. And the other one where I didn't collapse and I pulled out the parts of her that um, I currently wanted to, uh, to see and wanted her to exhibit. So the first story. So there was this girl I was talking to and she's really my type. She's short, she has green hair. And I love girls who look crazy. And as I'm talking to her, I start to notice that, you know, this woman is really into me, but I can tell that she's, she's trying to scream me to see, um, am I somebody that fits into her life? And it was fine. And then she asked me a question that was critical. She said, do you live here in New York? And this is where I collapsed, honestly. I said, mm, yeah, I live on Lower East Side, but only temporarily. And I knew in that moment, I was still trying to manipulate her in a sense of like, giving me a chance to open her in a way that she would never have. So yeah, I collapsed in my consciousness and uh, yeah, we you know had three dates and on the third day she wound up saying she loved me and on the second date we had sex and on the third we did. But through, the, through that experience, it taught me being clear in who I am because I wasn't exercising her freedom to choose if she wanted to engage with me or not engage with me. Now the other story is a success story. So what I did was, I was it was 5 a.m. in the morning and I, you know, it was just a few nights ago actually, and I got up and I was like, fuck, I want something from the store. So I walked out and I was like, why? I feel like I should turn right. And I turned right and I saw this girl walking down the street, so I ran up. And when I ran up to her, she, she was really my type. Overall, short, pretty, really sharp, feminine, really, I could just tell by her eye contact, she has an intensity that I can fuck the shit out of her. And as I'm sitting there, as I'm standing there talking to her, 
she starts to say things like, you know, right now I'm just focusing on myself, you know, I want positive. I just want something new. And she was trying to tell me that it was nice meeting me, but she just wants something new. And what I said with clarity was, this is 5 a.m. in the morning. And this is the part where you allow for that new thing to happen. We wouldn't meet each other at this random hour of the day if it wasn't for you to uh, meet me. So, this is a chance for you to have something different. So, don't fuck it up. Well, I said, I don't want you to fuck yourself over. And she was just like, yeah, you're right. And right now, yes, I'm still trying to see where she's at because yeah, she still is going through the, uh, I'm trying to be by myself but at the same time she wants to see me. So, you know, I don't know what, what's gonna happen with it, but I'll, me being clear in my psyche and being able to bring that part out of her that, that wants something new was the reason why she was able to um, say yes after first saying no to um, seeing me again. So with these two stories, I just give, wanna give you what it means to be clear in your psyche. You must be willing to be clear in your psyche if you want to attract the parts out of women that you truly want. So if you want to attract girls who are sexual, if you want to attract girls who are um, open-minded, if you want to attract girls who you know, live life on the edge and are adventurous, you have to first give that out with clarity. So now you're giving it out with clarity, you can clearly start attracting girls to you or the parts of women that absolutely reciprocate that. So the four parts, the four elements to masculinity that I talked about today and that are really important resting in that place to be consciousness being the observer while you're in that place noticing in that place charging it with a deep heart purpose moment to moment and being open to a new purpose when you are clear in your purpose and then the fourth thing is that that gives you clarity in your psyche to be able to attract women to you who love you for you and you're able to attract the parts of women that you currently desire. So this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles saying that I'm in New York City still and I'm just loving it while I'm here. And I'm glad I'm able to show you guys what it means to truly come from your place of masculinity within. So develop it. And until next time, I love you.